Mercedes was born into a wealthy Cuban family and was the youngest of five children. Her sister Ada became the first woman to fly a powered aircraft solo and her other sister Rita became a famous model, socialite, and author. Their childhood neighbors included the Vanderbilt family as well as Theodore Roosevelt. Mercedes married Abraham Poole in 1920, but they were divorced in 1935. Throughout her marriage and after the divorce, Acosta was involved in relationships with a number of Hollywood's elite. Some of these partners included Russian actress Alan Nazimova, famous dancer Isadora Duncan, and actress Eva La Galliana. Garbo became Mercedes' greatest obsession, but the feelings were never proven to be as strong from Greta. Garbo was never sure of her sexuality and the relationship. They met in 1931 and Garbo ended the relationship in 1944. Mercedes remained in love with Greta for the remainder of her life. When Mercedes de Acosta met men who ran the theaters, they did not want to work with a strong woman who loved women. Men found her too overpowering. And when the suggestions were offered to Mercedes on how to make her scripts more commercial, she would say, to hell with them.
Mercedes believed that if an artist rose from the gutter, the critics were all out to give him a break. But if he had background and wealth, it was assumed from the start that he was an untalented idiot. Usually, the critics either demolished him without fair criticism or completely ignored him. In New York City, Mercedes had both family background and wealth working against her. In her plays, the common female struggles included loneliness, social ostracism, prejudice, unhappy marriages, divorce, sexual desire, identity, forbidden loves, and self-recognition. After researching Mercedes, it became very apparent that much of what is written about her does not do her or her life's work justice. The women she associated with cared more about their reputations than they did about Mercedes, so her side of the story was rarely heard. Mercedes was an intelligent artist and her hard work is sometimes overlooked due to the fact that she came from money. Mercedes was the brave lesbian of her time. She continuously tried to facilitate the promotion of new ideas, art, and creativity. It's important for our generation, as well as future generations, to remember Mercedes de Acosta because she truly exemplified the importance of not changing who you are for the approval of others. Mercedes may have lost friends and lovers for telling the truth and not hiding her sexuality, but she lived her life honestly and pursued her dreams. Acosta's life story is both interesting as well as insightful and has earned the right to be remembered in history. Never shall I be all subdued, nor the real secret of me understood. Passionately and violently, my body may be possessed, but my spirit always virgin will wander on forever unpossessed.